just what you turn in. Game on! Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another video for you. My name is Joanna Wilson. We are back for the second channel Q&A series. We've got a new guest for nice today's day. podcast. Her name is Samantha Golding. You may recognise her from every single one of my videos <laughs> in the last six months. We are in fact attached to the hip. Yeah, she's a fellow member of Five Eye. She's my bestie. She's my sister from another mister. And we're actually finding out that we probably are the same person. In the last 48 hours, we've done about 52 of the same things <laughs> at the same time. It's getting a little bit freaky. It is. But yeah, that's your introduction. So we've put a question box on the Instagram story, as always. People have submitted their questions, and we are going to go flipping heck. There's so many of them. I feel like... 50% of them are probably the same, the same question. Yeah, so that's the question that we are going to start with. Mm. And it's, how did you guys meet? So we we actually met through Instagram, really, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Um, only less than two years ago. So um, during lockdown, Jay was doing some stuff online. And one of my friends started working with Jay. And she messaged me and she was like, oh, you'd probably be interested in this because it was to do with fitness. And I just started an online fitness business. So I was like, do you know what? Why not? So messaged her, joined in some Zooms, didn't I? Yeah. We started working together for a little bit. And then, you know when you just know? You know. That if you know, you know, you know. That started chatting outside of business stuff. And I had a few, like, individual calls to know with you and yeah. Mr. Luke Sutton. And I, I, I feel like, I don't know, just, like, common interests as mm -hmm. well. Like, mm -hmm. gymnastics all your life. Yeah. Yeah. Similar sort of values and passions for travel, yeah. fitness, content creation, business, Want to build freedom, an empire. Yeah. And then we just clicked. We just clicked, didn't we? And then we met for the first time August bank holiday. 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the rest is history. And then just from there, we just... Here we are. Yeah. We got on. Later, driving home in the car. And then a year ago, you moved into Five Eye, didn't you? And we always <laughs> joked that the spare bedroom was called Sammy's room because it was like, oh, like you're going to come visit yeah. loads. And then we were joking, like, oh, you'll move in, you'll move in. Here we are. Here we are. She moved in six months ago. Yeah, it's officially Sammy's room. And, and we've never looked back. I know. Yay! Are you single? I am indeed. Awesome. <laughs> have you guys ever fancied the same guy? <laughs> or do you have very different types? I think we literally have. Opposite. That is the only one thing that we are not the same on. Yeah. Like we're so similar in so many ways and we like think the same thoughts and do the same things. Yeah. And make the same jokes and laugh at the same things. The thing that we are completely opposite. I in actually don't think we could be more opposite. Is the guys that we <laughs> fancy. I don't think we've ever fancied the same guy. Like obviously there's people that are like we both can be like, oh my god, they're really attractive yeah. and we fancy them. But yeah. like but like, I also think there's times where you go, that guy's real sexy and I'm like is he? Ew. And then I yeah. like the people who I fancy. Yeah. You don't fancy That's really funny, all. actually, how opposite we are in that. But it's, it's great because obviously I we know never have to fight over, the fight over a man. Or, yeah. We never have to shotgun a man. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if any, of the top floor crew would you most likely date, to be honest? <laughs> Oh, God. They all have their pros and cons. Should we go through their pros oh, and cons? <laughs> no, no, no. No, out of all of them, which one I would date? So Ash is obviously a no, because we're no other reason other than we're just the same person. You and Ash. Do you not think me and Ash are like very similar? Oh. Between Nile and Stone, I feel like they've both got different pros and cons. I feel like you would have said Nile. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. We'll go with Niall, shall we? Okay. Swiftly moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do before joining the squad? Good question. Yeah, I love that. Um, so, everything. Yeah, I've done a bit of uh, everything. I Let's did start it, with university. Yeah, so I went to uni and I did event management. Um, cool. at, In? Uh, Gloucester. Cool. I forgot for a second then. Yeah, uni of Gloucester. And then I spent three summers working at Camp America, um, teaching gymnastics. And then in between have done probably any job you can think of. I finished my last summer of camp in 2019 and then I started working for a company called Worldwide Events which was really cool and like my dream job got to travel the world running events in different countries which was awesome so I started that job in January 2020 um, it was a nine to five working in London so I had to commute from Kent to London which was like an hour each way every day so I enjoyed it for to start with. Um, didn't get to go to my first event because of COVID. So my first event was meant to be March 26th. I was meant to be going to America. 
um, really cool event and obviously lockdown happened so I never got to go. So I got put on furlough which is when I started my online fitness business um, which then I absolutely loved doing. And then I went back to my event company when the world started opening up again. When did I go back? July? July 21. And started back again, so did some amazing events with them. I went to Abu Dhabi, Dubai, did some in Europe as well, which was really cool. Then I just kind of loved the flexibility of running my own business and doing my own thing. This year they wanted to start going back to the office in London, and obviously I'd moved to Leeds to be with Jay and was getting involved in a lot of the stuff that the guys were doing. And it just made me realise that's what I wanted to do. So yeah, so handed in my notes in Feb. Here we are. Here we are. Yay! Full time savage now. Yeah. Uh, what made Sammy take the plunge to move up north? Just from the people, like when I came up a few times to visit you guys, the vibe up north is just everyone just wants to have a great time. And being surrounded by you guys who are all so motivated to do cool things and do great things, it's just where I've travelled a lot, I've got so many friends from like random different places. And I've not really had like a big squad of people who are interested in similar kind of things to me and have got the same you know, passions and same things that they want to do in life. So I think even just spending like weekends up here with you guys, I was like, I just want to be around that energy all the time. And then because my work was all online, I, I could just yeah. do it. And I'm so glad that I did. What inspires you about each other? Oh, that's a cute question. Number one about you is your bloody work ethic. This girl literally works. Even today, like, She's come with me, but she's been sat here on her laptop working this whole car journey. Even if we put on anything on TV, like you probably don't watch TV. No, here. I don't really watch TV. But if we do, you're all on your phone doing some kind of work, or but it's because it's because you love it. But yeah, it's that's why you're successful the way you are. You love to work, and you do it all the time. Thanks. You just you blow my mind. Um, what inspires me about Sammy? The <laughs> Sammy's people skills are f***ing unbelievable. Like I've never known anyone be able to adapt and give advice and support and big up and like help different people in different scenarios from like I've seen her work with kids like giving Niall advice about <laughs> a really difficult problem to like being around adults in situations to just to be around on your calls for your work like dealing with people who were in a different country and English wasn't their first language being able to communicate with them like she's a f chameleon <laughs> like she honestly like she can adapt and mold to any situation and then also just like utmost respect to throw somebody into a squad of people like us who have never like they're just with the biggest personalities ever we've all got our own thing going on and as a like as a friend like you definitely you're like fully in the squad now but like initially it was yeah. my friend yeah, yeah yeah to like throw a friend into a situation like that is so daunting even like to come to LA for two weeks with people that you don't really know that well or haven't known that long like you don't get enough credit for, but I feel for like that. that that's a credit to you guys as well because everyone's just like it's the most welcoming group of people yeah and like all of you want success for everyone else in that group and it's it's just awesome to be a part of yeah. oh also another thing about you there's very few people in my life that i can spend infinite amount of time with so i'm a very like i need my own space i need my own time and joanna is one of the group of three people who i could literally spend 24 7 with and not need to like be like give me like a day on my own yeah. like, I think we're just so good at yeah we're in tune with knowing when to be crazy when to not be crazy yeah when to ask if you're all right when to just not yeah. say anything like, I can feel like I can have my own time but with you like we'll sit in the same room but like I don't <laughs> feel like I need to be like I need to go away from you for yeah. a day or two whereas 99% of other people and that doesn't mean it's cause, not because they're my friends it's just yeah I need Sammy time, whereas yeah. with you, I, I don't know. I just All the time, yeah. Sammy time. Yeah. You might want to know if you guys are together, but of <laughs> course not if you're not ready to announce it. We get oh, this a lot. All the time. We're not in a relationship. She's my soulmate, yeah. but not in... In a friendship form. Yes, yeah. A soul friend. Oh, friend. Okay, Doug, what is your favourite memory with... Joanna. Oh my god. What is our favourite memory together? Can I do three? Top three, yeah. Okay. No particular order. Okay, yeah. So we've got LA as a whole is going to be like a big one for me. We and had such a fun time. I, I mean, LA was just, it was better than we ever could have liked it. Surreal, like, yeah. It was awesome. Um, another one was when we went to Ibiza. Yeah. That little week in Ibiza because even though I was injured and sad, it was just 
was our first that day in Barcelona to be fair at the end of yeah, that trip yeah, yeah. that day was like a, okay we're gonna travel and do some fun things yeah and then probably my other one is my birthday weekend. Oh, weekend. last year. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that was like a real... Defining weekend. Yeah, like before that we'd only done like, we'd done like little bits and bobs together. Yeah. But I feel like that was the first real amount of time that you came and stayed and it, lockdown had just finished and we could go out and do... Because before our friendship had been all through lockdown. Yeah. So it was a lot of like FaceTime calls yeah, and yeah, yeah. we hadn't really met each other that many times, had we, considering no. how close we were. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're my three big memories that yeah I love it that I would say what about you obviously the three that you've mentioned yeah let me try and think if there are any others there's so many just like snapshots in time and like yeah for me some of the best ones are like not even the the big things yeah. or like the stuff that we've done like I remember the do you remember the day after <laughs> remember the day after the first time that we went out and I was throwing up <laughs> all day and like, <laughs> honestly, you were convinced that that was. I was convinced that that was the friendship. end of our friendship because <laughs> I have never, I don't think I've ever been that poorly from alcohol. It was and it's like the first proper time that Sammy had come to Leeds. We were supposed to be going for a roast dinner, and then it was like the first um, time you ever met Ash. Yeah. And we were all getting the train down to London together, and then we were like staying in a Premier Inn, and we we're gonna go out for like a meal and stuff like that. And I just completely bombed out of the whole day. I, like, like I'd not even re- I'd met now I think once or twice, as well. <laughs> and then that night I ended up going out for dinner just with Ash and I. Well, that, that's like that's literally what I was talking about previously <laughs> with like throwing you into situations. <laughs> but I feel like that day was just like so iconic. Yeah. And like, I was like, if she's gonna stay with my friend after this, then we're gonna be yeah, friends for life. Yeah, because this, like, literally, was so, so tough. Tough. Anyway, yeah. last question. Okay. To finish off. Oh, God. Right. If you could ask a question to your older self, what would it be? And if you could tell something to your younger self, what would it be? Okay. Okay, I like that. So, my younger self, I would tell them that you don't need a proper job. So, okay. when, I, when I was going to camp every year, I was like, oh, this will be my last year at camp because then. I've, then like I've done a uni degree so now I've got to get a nine to five got to get a proper job like that's yeah. that's what you've got to do me to anyone out there who's like stressing about what they like if they don't know what they want to do it doesn't matter like do do what you want to do like I think lockdown's taught us and it you can do anything like the amount of people that started online businesses during lockdown and yeah. now look at them like you don't need like a a nine to five mm-hmm. Monday to Friday job to be successful or to be stable. So mm-hmm. just, I feel like I'd tell my younger self, like, don't worry about it. Like, mm-hmm. you don't need to stress about finding a, like, forever job because yeah. it doesn't matter. Everything happens for a reason. What would I ask my future self? It's like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to know too much about my future. So I feel like I'd maybe just say, like, are you happy? If the answer's yes, great. If the answer's no, then But, don't I? Yeah. I feel like that's, like, I, w- I wouldn't want to know too much yeah. because I don't, I want to do what I want to do. I don't want to... Yeah, you don't want to preempt it. Yeah, I don't think. I... The thing that I would say to my younger self is be full-blown Joanna. Yes. Like, be unapologetically. Like, I, I call it full-blown Joanna. <laughs> and if you know me, yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. We bloody love full, full-blown Joanna. When I say full-blown Joanna, you know what I mean. Um, and I just think I spent, particularly when I was at like school and a bit at uni but even now like when I first start like relationships with people it takes me a little bit. I, obviously there's, there's a time and a place and I have to find my feet and suss out my surroundings but I held back full blown Joanna yeah. for quite a while and she's awesome and full Joan she's great full Joan blow Anna <laughs> full, full Joan blow Anna <laughs> and if people don't like full blown Joanna full Joan blow <laughs> Can that be your alter ego, Joan Bloanna? I'm gonna be like, should we go Joan Bloanna? Then the question to future self is, um, how's Joan? (laughs) Um, No, it's how how are you serving the world? Love that. Yeah. Love that. Just remind yourself one thing that Luke Sutton, the the heroes taught us, is we're showing up and serving and being that person that we want to be, then we'll attract much of it back in abundance yeah. so I just reminded myself that to give to situations and serve the world so that's why I'd ask my future self oh, 
What? Love what? It. what a time! I know. Thank you so much for joining Thanks me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Thanks for the questions, it. guys. I um, hope everyone has enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments who you want to see next on this series. We do have a couple of squad members that have not yet done a Q&A. I think the parents are probably going to jump on a Q&A yeah, as well. Nice. Um, so I'm sure people will be looking forward to that. But remember to like and subscribe if you like these types of videos. We'll see you in the next one. Keep smashing it. Remember, anything's possible. Just yes, bye. Bye. bye, everyone.